In this video, I'm gonna share with you five seeds that you shouldn't plant in your garden. Either plant it somewhere else or don't plant it at all. Starting off is corn. It comes, as a, to a, it comes to a surprise for a lot of people, but I would not recommend putting this in your garden. Simply put it, corn has a ridiculously high germination rate, and corn seeds are, are types of seeds that easily get out of their packet, considering they come in massive packets 96% of the time. Like some of these packets, you can get for up to 600 seeds. So yeah, there's a very good chance they slip into your soil. With a ridiculously high five out of six germination rate, they can easily slip into your soil and they can come at multiple different spots. So that's why my 2020 garden wasn't really the best out of any of the gardens. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend planting corn in your garden, but that's not to say corn isn't a bad plant because I really do love having corn just in a separate field. Next up, we have pumpkins and gourds. You might remember last year we did a gourd harvest, and as a matter of fact, a really funny quote that I'm currently showing on screen came from, from the gourd season last year. Gourds and pumpkins are basically the same thing, except gourds are like scaled down, like funny shaped pumpkins, I know. And um, gourds, because they're so massive, they need a lot of room to develop. So they'll come out of their things, they'll suffocate any plants nearby. That's what happened to the green beans in the area last year. So we didn't, so I think we got like nine green beans out of the garden last year because the gourds suffocated all of them. So yeah, pumpkins are even worse because they sprawl on random locations, including on fences. We had this really weak, flimsy fence that was basically held together by 17 zip ties back in the 2020 gardening season. And when the pumpkins decided to like, you know, grow on top of the fence, that was when we knew it was it because the fence started collapsing because pumpkins don't weigh a couple of ounces. They can weigh as much as seven pounds sometimes. So yeah, pumpkins are humongous little things and I've kept pumpkins that were over 16 pounds that year. Next one are strawberries and blueberries just simply because of the fact that they attract so many birds. You don't want to leave them completely out of the area, but you want to leave them in an area that's separate from the rest of the plants and also cage them up. Caging them up is really useful to keep birds out, especially the ones with the smaller cages. We're going to install some cages later in the gardening season. As a matter of fact, in just a couple short days, we're actually transplanting all the seeds out of the garden as long as it doesn't decide to drop below 40 again this year because you know that's how it keeps going and that the irrigation system doesn't decide to break. Next up are just miscellaneous flowers. I'm not talking about like flowers that flower on plants. I'm talking about just like random wild flowers, miscellaneous flowers that only flower. These types of plants you don't want in your garden for a quite simple reason. These are the type of plants that if you put them, if you plant them incorrectly, even slightly, they'll have the tendency to multiply themselves by a massive number just because they feel like it. So by the end of the week, you'll have 1.5 times 10 to the 67th power amount of these random blue flowers in your yard that you planted three times originally. So I'd recommend planting them maybe around like your outdoor patio garden region, not in the main garden. And plus, they don't really fit in with the remainder of the plants. And if they're really tiny, they'll get dwarfed by the bigger ones. And finally, we're gonna have fruit trees. The reason they're so high up on this list is because quite frankly, when they grow tall, they will grow very tall. They will just like, just, just shroud out any smaller plants, allowing them to get not as much sunshine as they need to be able to survive. And when they like, you know, develop their leaves around this time of year and also their fruits, if the fruit falls, then it'll hit a plant probably, which probably won't do too much damage, but then that'll attract some certain animals that'll come in and destroy the remainder of your garden. Same with beetles and worms and yeah, they're not really good. I would not recommend it. They'll also attract some frogs, which are for some not really the greatest for your garden and rabbits as well. So I would not recommend any of these plants in your garden, but these plants can be planted in areas near your garden. So yeah, if you found any of this, any of these tips helpful, I'd recommend clicking the like and subscribe button and also clicking on a video that's currently on the screen. One of them is what I think you'll enjoy and another one is what the AI thinks you'll enjoy.